how sacred do I keep this space? How sacred do I keep this space of mine? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I know a person who, who used to do ministry in the music ministry, part of the choir, and every day comes to sing in, in the music ministry. And we have a crowd of people every day coming. And one day, a girl came up and said, Father, we'd like, I want to get married to that musician. And so I said, I asked, do you know this person early? And no, Father, I've seen him only during the, the sessions. And so the, the boy was there as well. I asked the boy, so what is it? He said, yes, Father, even I'm very attracted to her. I'd like to get married. I asked them, when did you meet? Oh, we've not met. Then how did this happen? I said, you're attracted to her. She's attracted to you. How did this happen? She comes every day for the service. She comes every day for the, for the service. I see her every day. I see her every day. I'm standing over here and I'm ministering. And I'm seeing her every day. What am I doing to my sacred space? Irrespective of how this works out. Irrespective of this is God's will or no. All that I've understood out of it is that that is sacred space. And in the midst of that sacred ministry, you are carrying out something for your own personal gain. That is a sacred space. Only God's work happens there. Irrespective of how much I try to justify it. If I come to the altar for the celebration of the mass, I'm here now in sacred space. I cannot see you as anything else. I cannot see you as anything else except the ones that I've been called to minister to. It is a sacred space. Hallelujah. You cannot see me as anything else but as a minister of God because this is my sacred space. Hallelujah. 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 I know I'm treading a very, very thin line over there because the best way to, to find, I, I don't know if, if a young chap over there is married, but still, the best way to find a perfect partner for yourself is, yeah, standing over there, somewhere, someone who's come for the retreat, the girl who's come for the retreat, and she attends retreats, she attends these services. I'm sure that she's a person who is very godly, and therefore, it will work perfectly for me. All that I'm thinking, I'm thinking during? During God's ministry. Where is my heart? True, I can always say it's, it's a good way, you know, it's a healthy way to... To have a relationship. Well, that's pretty much the same about the, the turtle doves, the goats, the sheep, the money changers. They were all pretty okay around that temple. They were all justified to be around that temple. They were all okay being around that temple. It's always okay, you know, finding someone, a prospective bride or a prospective groom over there when I'm doing ministry. It's always okay for me to build relationships with people over here as I'm preaching the word of God. It's always okay. It's healthy. Building relationships is healthy. Getting a prospective bride is healthy. Getting a prospective groom is healthy. Building up of, of connections is healthy. All these things are healthy. Just as the goats and the turtle doves and the money changers were necessary and considered to be healthy for that temple. But when the Lord came, he told it very clearly Zeal for my temple will consume me. I cannot accept this in my sacred space. It is a sacred space. His name is written on it. It is not ours. This ministry is not ours. It is God's. He gives and he takes away. But it is his. We cannot be within the ministry and think to myself, 
I will do it the way I want to do it. Or I can deviate. There is only one purpose. There is only one purpose for it. When the temple of Jerusalem was built, there was a purpose for the temple. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, we, when I was here for six and a half years, I was here in the retreat center. Every evening we used to go and play badminton. And, uh, and the retreatants wouldn't get to see it because we would actually go from behind and near the, near the river, there's a little space where we used to play badminton. Barely any retreatants got to see it. But during these monsoon seasons, we couldn't play because of the rains. So we started playing inside the St. Vincent's Hall. You know the St. Vincent Hall? The big hall that is there. And because no retreats happen there, only once in a blue moon there are retreats over there. And it's nice and big, it's nice and high. Now, now I don't know about the height, but at that time it was nice and high. Perfect for an indoor badminton game. No wind, no rain, perfect. And we started playing. We were two, two three priests, and we were, we were playing there along with some of the volunteers over here. Now, Father Augustine would come for his, his walks, you know, in the e evening. So he would be walking around. He'd see us. He'd smile. He'd, he never said anything. Um, but, but one day, he just said, you know, maybe, maybe that place is not appropriate. That's all. That's all he said. He never told us, don't play. He said, you know, uh, is there any other place? That's it. Nothing else. But at that time, you know, you don't, you don't think oh, well, we don't use this. Anyway, the Blessed Sacrament is not there. What's the big deal? You know, it's just a hall when the best sacrament is not there. Why can't we just have a game of badminton there? Once a year or twice a year, they have a retreat over there. Apart from that, no retreats happen over there. What's the big deal? That's always things that play in our mind. What's the big deal in that? There is a big deal. It's sacred space. It is meant for the thing of God. It is sacred space. It cannot be used for something that desecrates it. Not that playing is bad. But I should understand between the sacred and the profane. The holy and the unholy. Unholy doesn't mean dirty. What does unholy mean? Yeah, it's taken off the holiness of it. The sacredness of it. Now, there are many things that we do in our life that need not actually be filthy. It need not be wrong, but it need not be holy. When I exercise my ministry, when I live in my sacred space, when I exercise my ministry within that sacred space, it is a space of holiness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And I have to see to it that I exercise my ministry in holiness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters, if we don't see our sacred space as holy, don't expect others to look at it and treat it as holy. If we don't treat our sacred space as holy, don't expect anyone else to look at it and treat it as holy. Then don't complain that people don't respect us anymore. I'm sorry, I'm a priest myself, we are priests. If today, I'm, I, lived, I lived in Australia for five years, there people don't respect priests anymore. Here, you know, it's, here, here we are like kings. Three chairs, five people, three are sitting, one is standing, priest walks inside, what happens? Immediately one will stand up. Even if she's 85 years old, she'll stand up and say, Father, sit. And shameless 43-year-old will sit. Well, the 85-year-old will stand. We are like kings here. Asia, we are like kings. We are respected. Let me put it that way. It's better that we are respected. Outside, no more. It's gone. It's gone because it's treated like a profession. No one sees it as holy anymore. It's a profession for them. Even for the people. They look at the priest, they think, I live my professional life, you are living your professional life. That is because I haven't, the moment 
I don't know if many of you do that. Please forgive me if, if, if you do that and, and you have your reasons for doing it. But you put outside your, your, um, your room, you put outside office time. I work from, I work from 10 to 10 to 4. That's my office time. I work from 10 to 4. After that, I'm not working. After that, I'm not a priest. After that, I'm in my own space. I'm telling you, that is one of the reasons why today in the West, they don't respect the holiness and the sacredness of the ministry that we do. Because they see it as the same way they do their work. There's no difference for them. When they look at it, they work from 9 to 4. Father Michael works from 9 to 4. What's the big difference? It's the same. If I don't see my ministry as being sacred, if I don't approach my ministry as being holy, if I don't approach my ministry as being an instrument of God's mercy for his people, at some point or the other, people themselves will stop seeing my ministry as sacred. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Treat your ministries as being sacred. It is a sacred space. The moment you start exercising your ministry, you have entered into sacred space. There it is all about God and what God is doing and the miracles that he's working and all the miracles that he's working over there. None of that should be attributed to you. It is a sacred space. It is an instrument of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If in a church, miracles are taking place, the miracles are attributed to whom? The church or to God? God. That is how it should be. Isn't that true? Sometimes isn't it attributed to the church? Let's, let's be very practical. Pota Retreat Center. Divine Retreat Center. If you go there, Miracles will happen. It's attributed to? Praise the Lord. Very often, it's attributed to? To the structure. It's attributed to the structure. The structure has no, has no right to claim that glory. The structure has no right to claim that glory because it is God's ministry. It's God's work. The structure has no right to claim that glory. The ministry that is being done is done for the glory of God. The work that is being done is done by God. The structure has no claim to fame. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Many people say that when they come to Porta, they get miracles. There are healings and miracles. Why is it those healings and miracles take place? It's not because of the place. It is because of the faith. It's because of the word of God that is proclaimed and the word that is received and the healings that take place as a consequence of it. Praise the Lord. It's all God's work. Like he told Samuel, I am going to do something. I am going to do something. And he gave the ministry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So dear brothers and sisters, your ministry is a sacred space. Treat it as sacred. Keep it holy. And in this, as a last word, also understand, the people who minister with you also have a sacred space. The people who minister with you, their ministry is also sacred space. Don't mess around with it. Don't mess around with their sacred space. It is God's work there. It is God's holiness there. Don't think that I can do away with, with them. They are not necessary for me. They are very, very necessary. Their ministry is very essential for me. Praise the Lord. We read in the book of, or in the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 9. 
1 Corinthians 3 verse 9. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 9. For we are God's servants working together. You are God's field. You are God's building. Praise the Lord. You are God's sacred space. You are working together as God's servants. We read Ephesians chapter 4 verse 16. Ephesians 4 verse 16. From whom the whole body, but speaking the truth of love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head into Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by every ligament with which it is equipped as each part is working properly promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah like ligaments we are all attached we are all such essential parts of that body like ligaments we have to be attached when i see my when i see my sacred space and i exercise my ministry in my sacred space my brother my sister's sacred space i respect as well and i see them as very essential to completing god's plan praise the lord hallelujah 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 that is why in the church we have so many different charisms. So many different charisms. And the spirit is using all these charisms like ligaments that become very, very essential parts of the body structure. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I'm a Vincentian. As a Vincentian, I cannot look at a Salesian. Any Salesians? I know one is there. How many other Salesians here? Don Bosco? Only one? Father, you're all alone? Praise the Lord. So I cannot look at a Salesian and say, oh, you know, the youth ministry that they do, it's, it's not very important. This retreat ministry is the only thing that is important. I'm wrong. There is a charism there. There is a sacred space there. Respect that sacred space. I cannot look at the diocese and how many diocese and priests here? All? Very good. Praise the Lord. Okay. Well, the diocesan priests over here, I cannot look at you and say, oh, the parish ministry that you do is no good. This is what ministry is all about. No, that is your sacred space. And you cannot in any way look at a Vincentian and say, your ministry is no good. The parish is all that the church is about. No, this is my sacred space. You respect the sacred space of the other. You see it sacred because God ministers there hallelujah hallelujah all those ligaments every ligament is tiny what's the name of your congregation sisters you're also from sri lanka so what's the name of your congregation sorry benedictines of benedictines which which variety of them grace and passion okay praise the lord benedictines of grace and passion Compassion, okay, praise the Lord. Well, passion is of the Lord, that's also good. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so the Benedictines of, of grace and, and compassions, so many of them, but every ligament is important. Every ligament is important. I had surgeries on both my knees, and, and when I had a surgery for, for this knee of mine, I remember I was in, in Australia, played basketball, messed it up, and I was getting into the, I was getting into the operation theater, and there was this, this uh, lady nurse who was standing over there. She looked at me, and she asked me, what do you do? I said, I'm a priest. And I said, you want to come? You can come for our retreat. She's an Australian woman. I said, we have a retreat center in Sydney. Come for a retreat. She looked at me bluntly, and she said, I'm too young for that. She's waiting for herself to get old. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And, and then she asked me, what's, what's the issue? I said, it's, it's one, of my, one of my ligaments. And she said, very, very important. Take care. Very, very important. Take care. One of my ligaments. You have the major ligament, the ACL. But apart from that, you have all these ligaments on the knees at the side. Very, very important. I cannot say my ACL is okay, so all the other will be fine as well. No, every ligament. If it was not wanted there, God wouldn't have put it there. 
If it was not wanted there, God wouldn't have put it there. If the laity's ministry wasn't required by the Lord, priests and nuns and religious, we better remember this. If the laity's ministry was not wanted, God wouldn't have put it there. If the Vincentian ministry was not wanted, God wouldn't have put it there. Respect the sacred space of the other. Respect the sacred space of the other. Let it be built up just as we respect our own sacred space. Hallelujah. 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 And let us pray that the Lord gives us the grace to keep ourselves and our sacred space holy. No one else is going to know about these little secrets that have crept in little secrets that have crept into our sacred space. But we cannot permit that because the day the Lord invited us and called us, He said, I want to do something. And I am giving you something that is precious to me, something that is sacred. I believe that you will hold it in holiness and sacredness. that you have given me to minister be sacred all the time at any time when you come searching for fruits you shouldn't find me without fruit like the fig tree you shouldn't find me in emptiness but that I should I should produce fruit all the time I pray prepare me to be a sanctuary O Lord you for the ministry you have gifted us that you have blessed us with we remember the words you said to prophet Samuel I'm going to do something and so I call you and I give you my most precious gift of ministry use it in holiness in sacredness for I am with you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah God